The boy's mom taught him from early on that a helmet is not negotiable. This, this accident proving that you can obey all the rules of the road, but you can't control other drivers. So tonight, this mom and her son have an important reminder for people of all ages. With his arm in a sling, his leg in a brace, and several stitches beneath his clothes, Dayman Moran is counting his blessings. I, I'm glad that I get to go back and see all my teachers and friends and everything. That this 13-year-old is still feeling sore and scared from last week's accident. It's traumatizing having that happen. Instead of getting him to school, a 10-minute bike ride landed him in the hospital. According to the Florida Highway Patrol, a driver failed to stop for the teen at the intersection of Landover and Northcliffe Boulevards. Troopers say the 8th grader did what he was supposed to do and waited for the crosswalk signal to light up before crossing the road. He had a, a contusion on the side of his head where it impacted. The boy's mom terrified when she got the call. She also felt angry at the driver who troopers say was not paying attention. And you hear about accidents happening all the time and I don't understand why people are in such a rush and only thinking about themselves. Tonight, a sense of relief as life goes back to normal. And both mom and son are thankful for the tough love that may have saved Dayman's life. What I did with him is I caught him not wearing his helmet. So for a whole week, I told him that it's a responsibility and so for a whole week, he had to walk to school because he was not wearing his helmet. A lesson Dayman would not forget. And last week, he proved it. He had a helmet. Um, and that probably saved his life. The 21-year-old driver did wait for troopers at the scene. She was charged for failing to yield to a pedestrian. The 13-year-old says he's still in a lot of pain and will probably wait a while before he rides his bike again just because he is so shaken up. But in an effort to make him feel at least a little bit better, the Hernando County Fire Rescue gave him a brand new bike. Mark Mom, that's, Kelly. A, that's a kind gesture, and I'm glad he's okay. Thank goodness.